Sun's arising, the yak's in the back, and I'm meeting up with the buddy Luke right here. We are gonna do some fishing this morning. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Ready to go. Take the yak out, you know, catch, catch a few. Hopefully, we get a big one. That's what I'm saying, man. He's told me he's caught some size out of this little secret pond right here, and he also fishes the ramp before he drops the kayaks in because he says they tend to hang out here a little bit. I might try a frog for half a second, see if it's even worth my time. Otherwise, it sounds like Texas rigs are the deal. But yeah, we're gonna get these yaks put in the water very quickly and do some fishing around this larger, this is like a freaking lake, dude. This is nuts. This is, like <laughs> this thing's huge. So we're gonna do some fishing around this huge pond here in the back 40. But uh, let's go ahead and get the GoPro out and we will just get started fishing. Get that set to the side, grab a rod, get started. First cast blow up, dude. Wow. Well, I guess the frog is worth it. On. Oh, so we thought. <laughs> All right, guys, we gave that about 10 minutes. First cast blow up. Y'all seen it, but we kind of missed that uh, opportunity right there. So now we are loading up the kayaks. Got the MTB box, the backpack, pull a tackle, and we're going to have it these banks over here. Rocking John's bona fide yak this morning. That's a good way to mess things up. All right, I think we are situated with the paddle. Just dropped in. Luke is right behind us. We are about ready to roll. Okay, just making sure we got the GoPro batteries before we really get out here. Dang. Nice one, dude. First one of the morning over here. Red crank, huh? Sweet. There he is. Oh, he's swimming right towards me. Oh, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's how we start off our day over here. All right, let's try and get a bass. Okay, all right. Off the point. First cast with the frog off the point. That was a good one. All right. There we go. Oh man, two pounder in the boat. Third blow up though, so thank goodness I finally was able to seal the deal. That's what I like. That's what I like. He got one. Oh dude, Luke's on as well on the crank, huh? The crank? Dude, they're stacked right here in the corner. Okay, it's game time. Super sick. Woo! Look at this little chunk right here hit on the frog. That's a deal. Okay. Dude, that's number four for you or something. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Prime real estate. Yep. Oh no. Such a good spot, dude. Perfect spot. Oh. Biggest one, dude. Two and a half. Sick, sick on the frog. Wow, there we go, you guys. That's a two and a half right here, right in the shallows. They are hanging out. Just got the biggest one in the morning, you guys, on the frog. Solid two and a half, chunky, right here in the shallows. I mean, in the shallows. Super sick catch. Luke is on six fish, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we're just having a blast out here on the axe this morning, guys. The bite's on. I'm gonna put this guy back and try and get some more top water for you. He's a little guy. He's a little tight. Good thing I let him have it. <laughs> if you watch my channel for a long time, you know I miss a lot of frogfish. And basically, I'm lucky I got that guy because he could hardly grab it. So he blew up on it and I let him take it. And my line was like fairly slack. So I just let him have it until I started to feel his weight. And then I set the hook. 
So you might have think, what are you doing? But with these frogs, you got to give them time, man. I, I always am like, oh, there he is, dunk, and then I just pull it right out of his mouth. So definitely got to give them time on the frogs. This morning has been a better hookup ratio for me than most, and now I'm probably going to miss a bunch because I said that. Got him. Oh, no. Dang it, I saw him blow up over here, and that's why I came over here. I think they slowed down on the frog. I threw the gantrail for a minute. We might switch things up here in a second, but that's just a little update. Since we hit this corner here, there's been fewer bites. I missed the blow up in the rocks that I kind of called out. I figured I would get, and that's really that. Uh, here, you, let me give a little little line out. His first one of size this morning. Luke has been crushing it. He's already up to 10, 11, 12 fish. And then what happened here on this one, I threw the bandito bug right after he caught one on the trench hog. Top water's been dying off and I got a bite as soon as it hit the water. I mean, they're stacked against the bank, you guys, but it was just a little nibble. I was like, I don't know if I really got that fish or if you just pecked at it, tightened the slack, went ahead and got a whack hook set. Like I shouldn't have even got the hook through this guy's lip. And then look at what we end up seeing. He flops right by the boat. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. Could be like a three, three and a half. I've got the scale, so we'll go ahead and weigh it. I guess one of the morning, you guys coming on the black and blue bandito bug, four out stickies worm hook, and a Carl's quarter ounce bullet weight. All this gear you guys can pick up and save up to 30% on your tackle to catch some hogs like this at Carl's Bait and Tackle. We're going to go ahead and link them below. I think uh, it's the best place to buy Guggen Baits at this time. I think they're like $4.19 a pack literally at Carl's. So uh, yeah, stock up on the goods. Grab you some big old bass off the bank. Let's get him on the scale real quick like we promised and then we're going to put him back just because it's the first one worth weighing and then we will uh, be back in the water. Sick you guys. That's 310 or 311 right there. Let's get him back in the water. Just got one off camera. The GoPro battery literally died that cast. Beep, 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 beep. And then I'm like, oh, there's a bite. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I switched over from the Bandito bug after that three and three quarters, uh, closing in on three and three quarter fish. And now we have got a little buck, young buck right here. Came on the, he bit on the blue baby crack and crawl. Still quarter ounce weight. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I think he did. It's because I didn't retie and I was using the pliers. Oh, that sucks. All right, we've just been chit-chatting for a little bit, but we are back in the game. Time check, 8.38 in the morning. A calm, cool 74 degrees out. Who knows what the water temp is? Who cares, really? They're on the banks. Let's get back after them, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Yep. <laughs> Crack and crawl, you know what it is? It's that fresh scent. <laughs> Luke's just been hitting this bank here for a second. I followed him up with a fresh crack and crawl and just got lucky, that's all it was. Right spot, right time. Pretty funny. <laughs> but he's still whooping me as far as total count goes, so. And uh, let me tell y'all what I just did as, as well after I get this guy unhooked here. What is going on, kid? There we go, okay. Done like dinner. So what I did is I switched it up. I went from that uh, quarter ounce and I dropped it down to an eighth ounce. I've got some uh, Wu Tungsten hooked up here. I did that just because we're casting real shallow. There's not, like we, we're not trying to get the sucker to dive down too deep. And I'm thinking the flutter of this tail is what's getting their attention, right? So if I've got a quarter ounce weight, it's gonna drop ever so fast. Well, if I drop down to an eighth ounce weight, it will drop a little bit slower, more time in front of the face, a little bit more flutter for them to catch and entice that bite. And so uh, that's my thinking behind lightening up the weight this morning down to an eighth ounce since we're not fishing out deep and all that good stuff. There we go. And Luke's hooked up. Oh, you had him on, bro. Luke hooked up cast afterwards. Had a good bite. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Dang, the trench hog is as big as the bass he just caught, y'all. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're invading the bank. We're invading the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> little headache. <laughs> Think I need to shorten my crawl after that last one. Might have ripped the whole nose. So many haters out there, dude. Every time you catch a fish and talk about how you got to put on a new Guggen bait, right. somebody is gonna say, "Oh, those suck." Like oh, if it was, it's so funny. I'm like, have you used plastics before? So. 
Got him. Sweet. All right. Doink. Another one on the crawl. Fallen victim. Got him. All right. Woo. There you go. Be free, little one. Where are the big ones at? Oh, that could be a big one. Nope, nope. The way he hit was a little different though. Yeah. Just more of a fierce like thump. Like, yeah. Compared to those last couple. Another one in the books. You caught it? Oh no. No, it wasn't. You gotta stop lying. Oh, 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 I'm on. Oh, wait. Oh, I got him. Oh. Yep. On the banger crank. Oh, he's pretty good, dude. He's pretty good. Guggen Squad cranks pulling through. Wow. Uh, this could be a four. Got him. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This one feels heavier than that one I caught earlier. Let's get this thing weighed and back in the water. Right in the top of the mouth. Absolutely hammered it on the Guggen crank. Let's go. Four pound, five ounce. Really? Dude, it's, it's a big one. You need to come get you the close up. Almost a four and a half on the Guggen squad crank. Biggest fish of the day. Woo! Solid puppy. Four pounds, five ounces. Absolutely sick. That's on that uh, white colored banger crank. Oh my gosh, smacked it. And it was swimming straight towards me, so I didn't know how heavy it was uh, right off the bat. As soon as it got close to the boat though, nice and plump. I was thinking this is a four, this is a four. Got lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and just get it right back in the water. She's been out a second, but man, I'm gonna be throwing that crank for another minute and see if we can't link up with a five, six. Cause uh, it's been documented sixes out of here by Luke right behind the camera. Thank you for filming, brother. Back-to-back -back casts on the banger. All right, slight downgrade in size. This one could be five pounds, but I don't think so. Let's go. Oh, right off the bat. That's where I got that last one. I don't think I was filming though, so mess that up. You catch fish off of that? You ever catch fish off that? <laughs> nope. Got one. There we go. Woo! We're doubled up. That might be, that's the first or second double up of the, of the day. Yes. Got him on the crawl kind of off these islands of brush. Sweet. That was fun. Blue baby cracking crawl, still going strong. Let's get it back in there. There's another. Back to back. There we go with the little guy. Back to back cast. Blue baby bandito bow, just switched it up. All right, I'm gonna go try this dock thing. Got him, he's good. Oh yeah. There we go. Bandito bug fish. Nice. Ran out of crawls, you guys, so we switched it up to the blue baby bandito bug. Got him. Right under, right under us. There we go. Back to back. Sweet. There we go. That's a good one. 
awesome. He was out a little deeper. He followed it out or something. That was cool. Luke's over here with the bluegill on the trench hog. No way. Switching it up to natural. Oh, bites. Really? Yep. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> almost missed it. They are loving the bug. Oh, jeez, there goes the reel. <laughs> Third one on the bug in like four minutes. Natural colors pulling through as well, guys. Irresistible. Yeah, I think for these kayaks, they're gonna start offering it. Whoa, there you go. How is it? Oh, three plus, huh? All right, guys, it's the biggest one of the day for me. Weston caught a few uh, a few bigger ones, but this is his first time coming out on this place, and I'd say we put the hammer down, probably caught it close to 40-ish. And uh, yeah, I had a great time fishing with him, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out. Okay.